Hey everybody, welcome back to Landshark Garage. Today's episode, we're going to be doing some interior things again. We're going to get the rest of these panels out, that deck panel out. We're going to take the headliner out, sun visors, door panels, get everything ready. So when the carpet gets here and the headliner material gets here, we can take care of that. There's just a lot of little things to take care of. Still got some seat bolts that I'm having some issues with, so maybe we'll tackle a little bit of that. We end up getting this all done early. Got some rear brake work we got to do eventually. We'll probably have to take these seat belts out. That'll be a challenge getting them out of the rust. Picked out our carpet colors, picked out our headliner color. So most of this just built screws. Holding a lot of this on. We're hoping this. Hope these panels are salvageable because well, they know what they want for some of this stuff. Alright, so they do make a repair kit for this. Yeah. These suckers are expensive too. See how it's broke on the end? And then it pulls loose. The passenger side one is actually worse than that. But they do make a repair kit for this just because of that problem. We'll have to see if we can salvage that. A couple of tools that are super handy if you're ever going to do any inside work, interior work, is a pry bar like this for taking off clips. I usually have one of these, just a plastic slider to slide across. And then this is this tool is for removing the little clip that holds this window crank on. <laughs> it wasn't there. Usually a little clip that goes around this that holds it on to this slot that's cut in there. It wasn't there so it was held on by sheer willpower. That's the only thing that was holding that on. Maybe the one on the other side will have one on it so we can see how that works. Plastic washer for the window crank. Little chrome cover for the... Here's that clip. It was inside the door. That goes around the window crank like this, pushes into it. Get the right spot here. That was right. Anyway, I'll show you how this tool works. You put that clip. set that clip back in the end of that just like that and then you can push it right on the window crank and those two little divots that hang down that's what hooks into the end of the window crank Does that one hold it in? little bail clip clips into that that's what holds the mirror adjuster in so that's not a big deal. One more pop over here. So this just has some plastic retainers in it. That's what holds the door panel on. You just slide it over it. Looks like there's five of them looks like there's a couple that stayed with the door panel which smells horrible duct taped on so we know there's been some it's been a part one time before Got high quality duct tape on it no glass down in there that's always a good sign the window hasn't been broken 
This is the little cut I was talking about. You can see it when I put that on there. That's what holds that window crank on. Only got an adjustable mirror on one side, so now we'll do the passenger side. I don't see anything else we have to take off the door. We're going to try and replace this trim back here so it keeps some water from running down in there. The bottom of the door feels really good. So we'll get a closer look at that, make sure we don't have any rust issues there, but I don't think we will have. The door panel should be able to replace the felt that runs along here. I believe you can just order this part. Everything else is kind of a cardboard. So I think it's probably going to be savable by the looks of it and uh, make it all look pretty color wise just looks like it needs to be just looks like it needs to be cleaned up a little bit vacuumed. It looks like we'll be able to salvage both door panels. Like I said, they make a repair kit for that. So we're gonna check into it and see. We'll move on to this plastic trim and the seat belts back there. Let's get that out of there before we do anything else. How's that sound? What? The headliner. Okay. So you want to keep that mirror? Oh, uh, no. No, no. <laughs> uh, I don't even know about I don't even know about the sun visors. They're nope, pretty, I they're pretty not. nasty. <laughs> oh, look at this. I don't want to. Is it more of the Red River? This right here? It's held in by a hex head bolt down here. <laughs> For the love of Pete and I don't Martin. even know if it was in the Red River. I'm just assuming it was in yeah. the Red River. Same clip as in the, as in the, uh, what is it? The last thing we took out, the door. So you turn it in. All right. So it's got a wedge like that, wedge like that. You just turn that in there. So when we put new ones on, we'll just put the new ones in. And... Jaker, what's we, happening? We have Helpy Helperton in here. Trying to get that back screw back there that is like an impossible angle. Yeah, it's a lot easier with the dog going. <laughs> That makes it so much, so much simpler with the dog. I'm trying to get a little teeny tiny screw on it. Oh no. Oh, he's getting it. Come on, Jake. Head in there. Come on, Jakers. Come on, Jake. Oh, what a good boy. Yeah. You're such a good boy. You're such a good boy. Move. There's two screws back here. One here and one here that I can't get on with any screwdrivers. Of course, this one is rusted, so it's getting wallowed out. So, I'm trying to decide how we're gonna do that. Day six of trying to get this screw out of here. So that still hasn't helped us get that screw. <laughs> no, no, we still gotta get that screw out. Gotta get the screw out still. <laughs> So, back seat of an 80 Camaro, got a JVC in-dash cassette player, new old stock coming from my buddy Jeff. Get rid of that ugly steering wheel. 
But right now, we're gonna try and get Mrs. Landshark out of jail and see if we can get this nasty headliner down. So with the headliner, this foam is just crystallized. And then what we're gonna do is just clean this all off down to the backer like this. So it's like that. And then we'll get material and we'll recover this just like we did on the three plus C. If you go back and watch that video, you can see how we did it. Gonna scrape all the alligator skin off. See how it looks? Uh-uh, draft. Draft. All right, so we're still messing around with these three screws this one we're gonna have to drill and use an extractor on not sure on that one this one i'm gonna try and use one of these fluted Irwin removers on it should grab a hold of that once we get it pounded down on there these these bolts have been soaking for weeks i spray them every once in a while i come out and i spray them just to just to try and get them to loosen up because they're the, the heads are just stripped out on them I don't think the rest of it is bad, but we're gonna try and do this by hand. We got a line on some seats. One of our subscribers had some. Hopefully, his are in, hopefully his tracks and the bottom of his seats are in good shape, because ours was not, but the seats themselves, we're pretty comfortable with them, so we're uh, hoping we can take his two seats and our two seats and make one set of good seats. So that worked pretty slick on that one. We do have one on the passenger side. It's kind of in the same boat. So I think we'll go over there and try that extractor on that. This one, we're gonna have to drill. All right, so we're gonna center punch this. Handy, if you watch my tool review walkthrough thing, this is a center punch that spring loaded, so drives against itself. You can tell you're going the right speed with the drill. Perfect curls every time. All right, so we're gonna try this one here. Just take that and drive it down in there. Let's see if we can get that to come a little loose. I like to use a little, little vice grips first. This little guy looks like he's going to be two for two. She ain't going to go, babe. Now what do we do? Drill it. Okay. Sounds good. Oh, well. <laughs> Hit it. Damn it. Nope, but you can't drill an extractor. Oh, what'd you do? I tap, well I didn't tap the extractor. Well, let's just say I tapped the extractor. I touched the extractor with the hammer and it broke. <laughs> I would say that if we can't go over the top of it, get this to take. Oh, the other one's cooperated. 
Wonder why this one's not cooperating. It's because it's on your side. Yeah, I'm betting, I'm betting Miss Landshark will be driving this thing more than I will. Boom. All right, so now we got two that need to have bolts with nuts on the bottom of them. We're able to say three on each seat. Headliners out, deck panels out. This is all gonna get cleaned up. And then we're gonna start working on what we have here for rust problems, what we have there for rust problems, over here and back here. Once we get that all done, our carpet should probably be here. We can put in our peel and seal, lay the carpet down, redo the headliner, which Mrs. Landshark cleaned off, so we're ready to go on that. And uh, button up the interior, so hopefully mid-April, we might be driving this damn thing. We'll see. You know what they say, never forget, Drive your shit. Thanks for following. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for liking what we do. Because we love what we do. We'll see ya. Well. That escalated quickly. Stay tuned.